Hello everybody, Jake here from FM Scout, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install the real images of trophies on FM21. So when you look at competitions, for example the Premier League on Football Manager, they don't have the licenses to have the actual trophies, so you just see a generic trophy template on the game. But there is now a wonderful pack on FM Scout that allows you to download the real trophies, it's really simple, takes 5 minutes at most to do, so if you do want to learn how to do that, then stick around, watch the video and then go and do it straight after, and if you do enjoy the video or get some new out of it then don't forget to hit that like button comment down below if you've got the trophy pack installed and subscribe to help us hit 100,000 subscribers hopefully by the time this comes out we are pretty much there we might have even have hit it so if so thank you very much but in all cases if you aren't subscribed and you are enjoying the content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also if you want to hit the notification bell you'll be notified whenever we upload so the trophies mega pack how do you install it it's very easy i'm going to be showing you how to do it on mac right now but a similar process applies for Windows. It might even be easier on Windows because there's a few extra steps you have to do on Mac. And as always, FM Scout provides a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install it, whether you are on Mac or Windows. So what you want to go and do is go to fmscout.com and you will see Trophies Mega Pack nicely here as one of the little tabs you can click on. So all you want to do is hit that button and you'll be taken to the Trophies Mega Pack page. So these are the kind of results we're going to look at, hopefully, if it installs right, which it should do. This pack contains almost 1,200 trophies and will add real trophies for all the playable nations in the game. 1,200 trophies is a lot. It's about as many trophies as I I won in my football career as a kid except the problem was they were all participation trophies anyway how to install it is very very easy if this video isn't good enough for you and it doesn't work you can always look at the description here but I'll show you a in-depth guide on how to do it right now so what you want to go do is scroll up to the top here and click download now that will start downloading once you click that you'll be taken to this page where it should start downloading straight away if it doesn't you can click here but we can see that it has started downloading now so I'll let you know when it has installed okay so there we are it's installed I've got a say I do feel like an ICT teacher making this video but once it's installed it should show up like this if it doesn't and you need to unzip it yourself then if you're on Mac you can download I think it's called the unarchiver that I have but it did it automatically for me so it should do it for you too but if you have the unarchiver you can just unzip it there or if it's Windows you usually use 7-zip both free applications that you can use to unzip files but yeah so you'll have your trophies pack downloaded here what I do is I right click on it and hit show in finder that way you don't have to search through all of your downloads to try and find this trophies pack you'll then be taken straight to it in the finder you'll see the trophy pack full of loads and loads of images what you want to do is just drag that out onto your desktop like that that way we can easily put it into our game files so how do you access the game files I know it is easier on Windows so just follow these same steps if you're on Windows, just minus a couple of the more complicated steps. For example, this one. For some reason on Mac, you can't go straight into your uh, game applications anymore. You have to hit this go button and you'll see there's no nothing that says library. So you want to hold down the alt key on your Mac and then library will appear. Once you click into library, you'll be taken into all of your files basically. I like to hit this button here. I just find it easier to import things this way. So if you hit that, it just shows a different view. Um, go to application support, then scroll down until you find sports interactive, find football manager 21, and then you'll be greeted with all of these files. Now, I believe if you're on Windows, you just have to go to document sports interactive. It's a lot easier than going through all of these steps. Anyway, you'll be greeted with all of these folders here. You want to make one if you don't already that says graphics. Most of the time you won't have one ready made. I didn't. All you do is you just right click new folder, name it graphics. Then you've got a graphics folder. Then all you do is drag the trophies into the graphics pack. I've already got it there, so I'm not gonna let it do it because they're already installed. And that is literally it, guys. So now we're gonna jump straight into Football Manager into a save that's already been running. It doesn't have to be a new save or anything like that. And we should hopefully see the trophies installed. Okay, so here we are on Football Manager. I'm gonna load into my Chelsea beta save. If you wanna watch me play through that save, the link to my channel will be in the description. We're getting very close to 600 subscribers. We're around 10 off at the time of recording. So if you wanna go check that out, then feel free. So all you want to do is load up your save. Like I say, it doesn't have to be a new save. This is really good in the fact that unlike some other things on Football Manager, if you load up a save that you've already been doing, it just replaces the graphics in there. It doesn't require any special work really. So now that we've loaded into the save, providing we did it right, which I believe we did, we should see all the trophies there. Now let's go to a club with a lot of trophies. Chelsea, of course, lots of trophies. I'm a Chelsea fan, if you couldn't tell. Then all you want to do is go to, I think, overviews displays from the best. And there you go. There's the first set of trophies we can look at. We've got a Champions League trophy, a Premier League trophy, 
European Cup Winners' Cup, Europa League, Super Cup. Chelsea are a good team, aren't they? FA Cup, the championship that we can forget about them days, the Carabao Cup, Community Shield, you get the idea. Now, the good thing about this is it isn't just Premier League trophies, uh, English trophies. The makers of this have actually gone into some great detail and pretty much any trophy you can think of is in here. For example, let's actually head out of the top five leagues and head into Holland. I imagine Ajax have won a lot of trophies over there, right? So let's go to Ajax, history, overview. You can see they've got a Champions League. Have we got a, ooh, an Eredivisie? Very special. You can even see it's the right one. It has Eredivisie written there. Johan Cruyff Schaal, the Intercontinental Cup. I don't think we saw that in Chelsea. This KNVB Becker, that must be like the Dutch Cup, if I remember from my Vitesse save. I believe it is. Let's go to someone like Santos. Let's see what they've got. This is obviously going into a completely different continent now, and you can see we've still got the trophies here. We've got pretty much any trophy you can think of is installed, and they've done great work on this. Let's check the Serie A, let's say. Let's have a look at AC Milan. Obviously, they've won a lot of trophies. Go to Overview. Is the Serie A on here anywhere? There you go, that's a Serie A. I mean, I'm not an expert. I can't tell you if this is exactly what it looks like, but I would assume based on all the others and considering how like unique this one is, for example, that these are the actual trophies that they're presented with. The detail I've gone into here is absolutely fantastic. You could have forgiven them if they'd just done the Serie A, the Super Cup, whatever, but they've gone as far back as the Serie B, KT, the Mitropa Cup, the Coca-Cola Super Cup. Let's look at England and their huge trophy count, although, you know, I, I, I don't think it's going to be that huge, do you? But they've got the World Cup. How beautiful does that look? Let's go really out there. Let's try the Asian divisions. Let's search up China. We'll go to the Chinese League, Chinese Super League. Is that on here? There it is, Chinese Super League. Zhangzhou Evergrade. I'm, I'm not Chinese, if you couldn't tell. I, I could not pronounce that. They've, they've even got all the trophies out there in Asia, all very nicely customised. They definitely must be the right ones because they're so unique. And yeah, this is just a fantastic trophy pack that just can add to the realism. Obviously, everyone at some point will get around to doing a face pack, probably some kind of name patch for Juventus and the Brazilian leagues. But I think this trophy pack is a really subtle thing that just adds into the detail of Football Manager and just really lets you immerse yourself in the game. So that'll be the end of today's video. Hopefully you found a tutorial useful. I'm not used to doing these kind of videos, so hopefully it turned out okay. Let me know if you think I could improve in any way on these tutorial videos, or if you have any questions, I can hopefully answer them in the comments quite easily. But again, if you find me annoying to listen to, then you can always just go on the FM Scout website, and you can easily follow the steps on there. So thank you for watching. I've been Jake for FM Scout. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe for more of the best FM content. And I'll see you in the next video, hopefully, guys. Goodbye.